part-time job, part-time business, kids, school runs, homeworks, after-school activity, bills, house, car, family relationship. Life could hit you when you least expect it and could get really overwhelming from time to time. Can you really be burned out from dealing with life and unexpected events? Burnout is very real and can really take a mega toll on you physically, mentally, and emotionally. It affects you productivity, motivation, and your overall happiness. We all have been there. We get burned out and have so much on our to-do list that we just can't seem to know where to start. So we simply just don't do it. We procrastinate instead because we feel overwhelmed. And it's so much easier to sit on the couch or in our bed watching Netflix instead. Here's the good news. You're definitely not alone in feeling this way. Hey, this is Candace from CreateFreedomWithCandace.com. This channel is dedicated to help parents like me want more freedom in life by leveraging the power of the internet to create a passive income from the comfort of your own home. If you have not subscribed to this channel be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the bell for notification feeling burnout it's more common than you think i personally have been there and it doesn't get easier as i get older and as my kids getting older as well every moment of kids free time i have i'm writing making video cleaning or preparing dinner sometimes i spend a whole hour getting nothing accomplished because i'm trying to do 10 different things at once i feel like there's just not enough hour in a day to be a good mom a good friend a good daughter working on my business and i'll eat well and has some me time and all of that. Now, how do people do all of those things and not feel completely exhausted by the end of the day? What is the first thing to do? Exercise? Eat well? Downtimes? Self-care? I can't stop being a mom. I cannot not working on my business. I cannot neglect my job or my partner. But for some reason, we think it is okay for us to neglect ourselves. That doesn't sound right. And that's exactly the mindset that caused us to feel completely burned out. In this video, I will share with you the steps that I personally take to avoid or overcome burnout and let go of the idea that you have to do all of it. Number one, plan, strategize, and schedule. This step is so important for stay on track and avoiding overwhelm. Planning out your day, week, and month a great way to stay on task and figuring out what you want to accomplish and what is priority. Creating a long-term schedule to help you see the big picture, allow you to break down tasks, go that could help you to feel less overwhelmed. Scheduling tests that will help you to keep you accountable and consistent. Schedule a certain day in the week to accomplish certain tasks, such as Saturday laundry day, Sunday meal planning, Wednesday me time, Friday night, day night with your partner and all of that. You may already heard this one before. A great way to get better at time management is by using a planner. Pick up a planner that works for you and make it useful. If you need suggestions, click the description below. I list a few that I personally like and works well for me. Number two, block out time for certain tasks. Okay, this is very similar to schedule your time. Time block for certain tasks. It's a great strategy that I learned from some very successful entrepreneurs and moms. Basically, you will block out a chunk of time for each test that you will stay focused on one test during that time. For example, I block out Friday night from 8 to 10 for me to write out my content ideas for the week. During that time, I will not get on social media, no homework, no making video whatsoever. Saturday morning, it's my filming time. During that time, I will only focus on recording video. I could finish recording my whole week's worth of video content. Saturday afternoon, I will focus on cleaning up the house. Then Sunday morning, maybe my video editing time. Sunday afternoon, I will be doing grocery shop and meal prep. By blocking out time for certain tests help me to stay focused on one test at a time. According to study, switching from test to test or multitasking actually causes us to be less productive because we switch from one test to another. We have to switch it mentally. It takes time to adjust. Then we also have to adjust that physically by moving to different settings or using different equipment. Number three, avoid the technology black hole. Oh my goodness. You must know what I'm talking about. The Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Netflix, YouTube, and online shopping. All of these things suck us in. And then the next thing you know, it's been an hour or half day. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes this is the exact me time that I need. But if we are doing it multiple times a day and then stressing that because we do 
not have time to accomplish everything. Then we need to reevaluate. Number four, take breaks and time for yourself. Sometimes when you're feeling overwhelmed and burned out, the best thing to do is to take a break and relax. Even if your to-do list seems like it's never ending list. When you're tired and reach to the point of being overwhelmed and cannot stay on task, it is best to walk away from it all. From my personal experience, I was so burned out from everything, but everything seems to be so important to get it done. However, I was not able to stay on test. I was not motivated. I finally dropped everything and went for a hiking trip on my own and turned my phone off completely. After a few hours of disconnecting from the world and the work, I came back refreshing and motivated. If you take time to recharge, you can come back to a refreshed and motivated and sometime refreshed idea. Do not try to tackle your to-do list when you feel overwhelmed, unmotivated, and exhausted. Number five, just start. One of the side effects of burning out is to procrastination. When I feel burned out, the first thing I do is to start making excuses to avoid tackling my to-do list. Most of the time, if I can just make myself to do an easy task on my list, I fall right back into things and being able to a bit more motivated. So sometimes just make yourself start something. It's all it takes to get yourself out of feeling overwhelmed. Just remember, if you are really burned out and not motivated to do things, let yourself procrastinate a bit. If you start your test and you are still not able to get into and focus, then maybe try to relax and recharge and then come back to it later and try again. Take one small step at a time. Number six, make a list of accomplishments. This is so important, but it's so easy to be overlooked by us. Sometimes my burned steam from feeling defeated or like I'm not succeeding. That negative mindset can be hard to shake. It could be a downward spiral if you let yourself get caught up in self-doubt and negative. A trick I use is to create and celebrate a list of accomplishments or wins I have had so far. Constantly remind myself that I have done something. For example, every night before you go to bed, take a look at your to-do list of the day and write down tasks that you have crossed it off because those are the ones that you have accomplished. This will help you to keep a positive mindset before you end your day. Your accomplishment can be as easy as you finished meal prep or you took a nap today. For some of us, being able to take a nap it's not an easy test with young kids. Number seven, remember your why, the big picture. This one is important. Never lose sight of why you start and what your big picture is. Whenever you feel uninspired or burnout, out, one thing that always brings me back is remember why I want something. I love doing what I do by helping other parents to get the freedom that they deserve. Whether that is time freedom or financial freedom, it's by sharing what I do. I remember why I want to do this. It's because I want that freedom for me and my kids. I want to be there to wake my kids up every morning with kisses, then get them ready to school every day. I want my kids to have a mom that's always there. I was able to create the freedom for myself by learning from the best of the best. And I want to be able to help other moms and for that to achieve that as well. Remember my why usually snap me back into hustling mode. Again, always remember why you're working so hard to achieve whatever your goal is. Number eight, ask for help. It seems so easy, but sometimes we find it hard to ask for help. Well, at least I do. But honestly, sometimes it is simply that easy. I know there are things that my kids, my family, or my friend could help to get some stuff off my plate. And if I ask, they would be happy to help. But I tend to hate to ask for help and feeling guilty if I cannot do it all. It is so silly, but true. So ask for help or support where you can. The people in your life who love you will be happy to help. You are not burning for asking and you are not any less awesome for needing help. There you have it. I hope these tips help you overcome burnout and get back on track. Always, always remember to take time out for yourself. You need to take care of yourself in order to take care of other things and people around you. Ask for help when you need it. Take a break. Always go to sleep with a list of accomplishments rather than disappointment. Be sure to have a good time management skill. I would love to hear what are the tips that you have to help overcome or avoid burnout. Be sure to leave them in the comment below. Again, this this is Candace from CreateFreedomWithCandace.com. I'm here to help you to live a freedom lifestyle that you and your family deserve. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the logo here. If this is your first time watching, well, hello, nice to see you here. Be sure to comment below so I can say hi back. If you're going to stick around on YouTube, be sure to click the top right corner for my next video because that's the next one you want to see. I will see you next time. Bye.